Today we're making robin egg speckled cupcakes. This is a very richly buttered cake batter. As with most cake batters, we start out creaming our butter and our sugar. And you need two sticks of unsalted butter that's softened, and you're going to cream that with one cup of granulated sugar using either your hand mixer or your stand mixer. Beat that at medium speed for about three minutes until it's pale colored and fluffy. We add three eggs one at a time, mixing between each one, and these eggs should be at room temperature. We're adding two teaspoons of vanilla and one teaspoon of almond extract. It's sort of like a pancake. I know there are some people that can't use almond extract or don't like almond extract. So for this cake, because we're going to flavor this with some lemon zest, you could add a half a teaspoon of lemon extract instead of the full teaspoon of almond extract, or you could add a half a teaspoon of a coconut extract or up to a full teaspoon, which will be very coconutty. In the spring season, I am all about the flavors of lemon and coconut. And now for our dry ingredients, you need two cups of all-purpose flour or 240 grams. And to this, you add two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, and the zest from one lemon. If you're not a fan of lemon, you could substitute orange zest or lime zest. And if you don't like citrus, you can just simply omit it. So let's add this to our dry ingredients and give this a good whisk. We're gonna add our dry ingredients with our batter, alternating with a half a cup of warm milk. Now, what I mean by warm milk is about 100 degrees to 105 degrees. So I microwave this for about 30 seconds to take the chill off. I can comfortably put my fingers in there. And what I did, I brought the milk out to room temperature for a couple of hours, and then I microwave this just to get it slightly warm, but you don't want it to come to a ball. So let's add in one third of our flour mixture, half of our milk, I can really smell that almond extract. This is so flavorful. It's like a pound cake made into cupcakes. Now let's add one more third of our dry ingredients and the second half of our warm milk. The last of our dry ingredients. And that is our batter. This makes 18 cupcakes. Spoon halfway into your cupcake liners or into your greased and floured cupcake tin. Some people like to use an ice cream scoop. I like using scoops like this because they're pointed. Okay, our 18 cupcakes are going into a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. So I'm gonna check these around 18 minutes. So I'm going to pick this one, and I'm gonna stick this toothpick, oh, it's perfect, I can tell. And that came out clean, just a couple of crumbs. These cook for 19 minutes, and we are going to let these cool for about 10 minutes in the muffin pan. I will go around here, remove them, and place them on a cooling rack to completely cool. While these wonderful cupcakes are cooling, let's make our buttercream frosting. We're gonna add two sticks of salted butter that's softened to our stand mixer or your hand mixer. And beat this until it's very smooth. It takes about 30 or 40 seconds to get this butter nice and smooth. Now add three and a half cups of powdered sugar. This is a lot. It depends on how warm your kitchen is sometimes, how long some of these things take. And then move it up to medium speed and beat it. So that sugar is pretty well incorporated in with that butter. Now we add two teaspoons of vanilla. I love these vanilla cupcakes. It's so good. And now our last step is we add three tablespoons of milk slowly while this is on mix. We're going to add blue food coloring. Do one drop at the time until you get the color you want. Now what you want to do is take a stiff spatula get under the bottom and really mash that coloring in there. That was three drops of 
blue. I'm happy with that. It's going to look really pretty when we take some cocoa mixed with water and then we just splat it on there and speckle our robin eggs. I put some of our buttercream on these six. Mix two teaspoons of cocoa powder with a tablespoon of warm water and stir that until it's well dissolved. And you're gonna need a little brush like this. Get rid of the excess. Take your fingers and just spread that on there. How cool is that? All right, that's it.